wonder you never ran yourself, Shanti. God forbid. <laughs> no, I was saved the vice of ambition. No, my role was to serve party and country. Oh, and that you did, Shanti. Serve, I mean. Did you know him, Shanti? Or Billy? Or the country, for that matter? Aye. We all have to think of the next generation, I'm sure you know that. Mm -hmm. Ollie did. More than yourself, Shanti, I was devoid of any political ambition. Sure, it was the ginger quarter thing that wrote me in. Oh, that's right. Labour started all that talk about ginger quota. We all had to show we were just as good, just as equal. <laughs> <laughs> well, Shanti, we do account for half the human race. <laughs> Ourselves in labour? Women, Shanti. Ah, oh, I see. <laughs> A bit of what you might call a, a positive discrimination. <laughs> well, I suppose if the party approved it, it must be good. I, I say it must be good. <laughs> well, positive discrimination, I suppose, is better than negative discrimination. And women have the votes now, you know, Shanti, and have had for some time. Hmm. Did you... Did you write a poem for tonight? No. Oh, what a pity. I thought you would have written something beautiful for our wedding. No, no. Nothing, nothing at all. No. You're blushing. Oh, please, read it to me. Well, I haven't got one, darling. Really, I haven't. You're lying. I can tell by your eyes that you're lying. Well, as a matter of fact, you wouldn't like it, darling. It's what? rather modern. Oh. There is another one. There is another one I'm writing just now. I want to hear the one about our wedding. Well, never before in my whole life have I told anybody anything about a poem I hadn't finished. Oh, is it in your pocket? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. 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 I think it's going to be wonderful. The Fountain of the Royal Gardens. Why may I not hear the one about our wedding? Darling, don't you think it much more special just now? Something nobody else has ever heard before. Has anyone heard the one about our wedding then? Now listen, tell me what you think of the permutation of the consonants, the onomatopoeia, I mean. <clears throat> I just don't think that there's much point in us sitting up all night worrying ourselves sick about something we obviously can't do anything about until the morning. When you go well, to bed, I'm going to wait up for him. Well, shall I make you a cup of tea? Tea? Do you know that we haven't had a single crisis in our life yet for which your ultimate solution wasn't a, a cup of tea? Oh, I'm sorry. I was only trying to be sensible about it. Mm. Oh, I know you are. Mm. I apologize if, you know, if, if I said things I didn't mean. <laughs> no. <laughs> I think what we both need is a swig of this bourbon. <laughs> <laughs> Have we got any glasses up here? Uh, only two glasses. <laughs> Michael! <gasps> oh! Oh, what is that? It, it, it's cod liver oil. Oh, <laughs> oh how on earth did he get it? Uh, oh, God oh. knows. Oh. I think that little monster must have been trying to set a trap for me. <clears throat> Michael, oh. Michael, wait a minute. Oh. This is the limit. What? Do you remember three years ago that he had to take a spoonful of cod liver oil every night and that he didn't want to take it in my presence? Of course, I measured the bottle every morning, but he poured it into this. Agnes, do you oh. mean to say that that stuff I swallowed is three years oh, old? The little monkey. Oh, now, now, now I'm going to wait till he gets home. <laughs>